hello everyone welcome back to my channel we are in part two of christmas decorating if you missed part one i'll have it linked in the description box in this video we'll be decorating the hutch the rest of the living room area and i'll be adding small touches to the kitchen if you're new here don't forget to subscribe ring the bell click all so that you'll be notified every time i upload a video and don't forget to hit that like button it helps push my videos into the algorithm and leave me a comment if you are new introduce yourself and if you are a returning subscriber thank you so much leave me a comment and leave me some home and Christmas emojis and let's jump straight into this video. We are starting out over at the hutch. Um, I decided to decorate my basket here with my dried florals. I thought about getting something new to put up there but I was just like no way i love this basket way too much so i decided to add that same brown satin ribbon with some bells that i picked up from amazon here on this channel is to also show you guys that you don't have to go out and buy everything brand new when it's time to decorate for a new season you can just decorate something that you already have especially if it's an item or a piece that you absolutely love because we all know money come and go especially around the holidays you have Thanksgiving Christmas the new year come then before you know it we have Easter so anything to help us save To the inside of the hutch majority of everything in here is going to stay i am going to take out those faces so that i can add some of these trees they light up they're so pretty they're like this metallic color and i'm going to add those some twinkle lights i also have some bells that i got from hobby lobby about a month ago i'm going to swap the bells and my little man here with each other and I also got a print from Etsy that I am going to add to a Studio McGee framed art piece that I already had because I didn't want to buy a frame. I saw Jenna, Jenna's home and Evelyn Hernandez do, do this. So I thought that was a nice way to save money as well.
decorate the coffee table. Mostly everything here is going to stay the same. I did switch it up just a little bit. Um, I have this cream vase and some greenery that I picked up from Hobby Lobby that I do not like. And we're going to switch that out um, towards the end of the video with something else. I have this basket that I've had from Target for a couple of years now. So I'm going to add some pine cones and some bells. The bells also came from Target from last year's Threshold Christmas collection. Those bells were very bright. It, they were a very bright gold, but I put some rub and buff on them in the color antique gold and it calmed them down a whole lot. So I love the way this look and turned out. To the couch I found this blanket at home goods and I also pulled two pillows out of my bedroom because I was barely using them anymore so I just decided to bring them in the living room just to switch the pillows up on the couch a little bit until I get ready to buy some new covers and then I also made a swag to go over the picture light over the couch and I also bought some new bells from home goods after I filmed the first Christmas video and I swapped them out and you will get to see the new ones and the after shots at the end of the video and that's the magic of Christmas to me in my last video that I ordered a picture light but it didn't come in time for part one well it came and my husband put it up for me so I'm just gonna tie a ribbon around it with some bells like we did the floral basket on top of the hutch Through the ceiling. Moving 
coming back over to the coffee table, I'm removing that greenery I told y'all I did not like. I did have a couple packs of dried florals, just like the ones in the basket on top of the hutch that I'm going to put in here and tie a ribbon around and I love that look so much better. And it just showed me also everything doesn't have to be Christmas greenery. You can just play with decor and do what you want and settle for what looks the best here and that's what I did. So I hope y'all like it too. That's pretty much everything for this video. I decided to make the kitchen its own video so be on the lookout for that one within the next few days and I'm going to let you guys enjoy these after shots. Don't forget to leave me a comment down below. Leave me some home emojis, some Christmas emojis. Introduce yourself if you are new and definitely don't forget to subscribe. Ring the bell, click all so that you'll be notified every time that I upload a video. I hope you all have a happy Thanksgiving and I cannot wait to talk to you in my next video. Bye. Thank you.